So yesterday, I put a post on Facebook asking for some topics for my podcast. I said, looking for some topics you would like to hear me talk about on my upcoming podcasts. What subjects surrounding success and fulfillment are you curious about? What would you like my opinion on? Or some advice? Or do you want to hear some just really bad dad jokes? And I put this out there asking for what should I do my podcast on? What do you want to hear? And every single comment asks for dad jokes. And, you know, there was a part of me that wanted to, I was like getting judgmental in my head because, you know, I'm asking the serious question and they're asking for dad jokes. But then I remembered that before you judge someone, walk a mile in their shoes. That way you can judge them all you want because they're a mile away and barefoot. Ha! So yes, challenge accepted. I'm going to do a podcast on success and fulfillment based on dad jokes. Because I like telling dad jokes. Sometimes he even laughs. Ha! Welcome to my journey of self-discovery, life balance, career success, and business creation. This podcast works to answer the question of how successful professionals like us stop drifting and get focused on keeping our careers and businesses growing rapidly while having a full, balanced, and vibrant life that we absolutely love. What we call the Third Power Life. And this is the Third Power Life Podcast. <laughs> So you have no idea how much I love this concept. Um, I, I am like the the terrible humor pun dad joke guy. I love it. It's like, you know, I, I love like elevator jokes, right? Because elevator jokes are so they're classic. They're good because they work on so many different levels, right? Um, yes, this episode is going to be absolutely cringeworthy, and I love it, because what I want to talk about is, you know, our around our physical fitness and, you know, being where we need to be for the physical part of life balance, right? Because, you know, as I've looked over my life, and, you know, I realized that, you know, the, the graveyards looked overcrowded. People are just dying to get in there and I don't want to be one, right? Um, and it really hit me the other day that I needed to start going to the gym. I, I have been going to the gym if you've been watching because um, I got carded at a liquor store and when I was going through, my, my Blockbuster card fell out. The, the, the cashier just kind of looked at it, laughed and said, never mind, right? <laughs> because, you know... You know, I'd been I'd been putting on weight. I, I wasn't in the fit shape that I want. And for the longest time, I thought it was the clothes dryer that were that were shrinking my clothes. Turns out this whole time it was the refrigerator. Who knew? Because, <laughs> you know, I'd been on a diet and it, it the challenge was it was the seafood diet. If I see food, I eat it. Right. Dun, dun, um, and, you know, in all seriousness, that's kind of where I was, you know, it, I was snacking all the time. I was eating too much and, um, you know, I loved pizza. I loved, you know, all these things that are not good for you. You know, I, I was going to tell a joke about pizza, but it was just way too cheesy. Um, anyway, so, <laughs> so I decided that I needed to get in shape. I need to start working out. Um, my wife said that I should start doing lunges to stay in shape. And you know what? That would be a big step forward for me. Um, <laughs> but, but no, instead I decided I joined your orange theory and I'm going to work out three times a day, three times a week, early in the morning, you know, at five in the morning, I go work out. It's, uh, I've actually never felt better. I went this morning, even though they tried to kill me uh, doing a 2000 meter row. Um, but uh, this, this morning I, I felt, I definitely felt like a bicycle. You know, you know why the bicycle couldn't stand up by itself? It was too tired. Ah. <laughs> 
But, you know, my, my hopes are that, you know, as I work out, as I continue to work on myself, I'm going to, to keep, you know, taking this weight off. And eventually I'll get to the point where um, it's like what, what Zero said to the eight. You know, hey, that belt looks great on you. Um, yuck, yuck, yuck. Uh, <laughs> but in all seriousness, you know, we have to get out there. We have to take care of our bodies. We have to take care of our minds. Uh, we have to take care of our spirits. And the best way to take care of our spirit in my body, in my, <laughs> in my body, the best way to take care of your spirit in my mind is through laughter. And I love laughter. I love, you know, I, I try to be funny. I even sometimes succeed. Um, but that, you know, and what's what's really cool is that humor actually does help your physical body as well. Um, because, you know, what I don't want to do, be is like a math book. Because, you know, you know why math books always look so sad. It's because of all their problems. Um, anyway, what I... <laughs> Anyway, I love you guys. This is so awesome. Trying to take a whole bunch of dad jokes and compress it into something that was actually reasonably fun and reasonably uplifting. Um, so hopefully this podcast um, will, will help you smile and will help you live your life to the third power. So until tomorrow, my friends... Remember, don't take life too seriously because you'll never make it out alive. <laughs>glad you enjoyed this podcast please let us know what impacted you in today's episode you can join our discord or facebook community to connect with like-minded people that want a real third power life you can go to thirdpowerlife.com or look in the show notes for links and remember hit that like subscribe and rate button for the third power life podcast until next time <laughs>